It looks like it will be the Kled now coming out, looking to match the Renekton. Wherever it does end up, and it looks like topside will be the Kled versus Renekton. Early game advantages, um, just because they knew they had this summoner spell advantage. Mickey Rome. Locked up, though. Faker now has to run for the hills, but he's burning down the Ignite. It might not be enough. Mickey, the one for one. Faker gets it back. I mean, those are the types of plays that Mickey has made in the past to be able to impact the mid lane. The fact that it did give a kill back and Faker has his teleport up actually means it doesn't give him a big edge, but that's the type of look G2 wants to make. Here comes Effort into the mid lane as well. They're looking to run the play back on the opposite side. The flash in, Caps now locked up the chain CC. It's flawless and Caps delete. Unable to do that and the correct punish by SKT. Now the all-in on the bottom side though. Effort has gone face first in the danger, but Perks is so low. One Whoa. more proc. Not going to find his yet. He has to be careful. Caps now moving in. The knockup is there. Mickey now trying to find a retreat, but Glit coming into the backside. Caps trying so to zoom his way through the fight. The phase rush isn't going to be enough. Caps now caught up with Ever, but the CC is there, and Caps goes down. A beautiful punish from and SKT's that's... bottom lane. Not the point of the map where we expected them to be strongest, but really showing up so far in game in one. There. Teddy, though, no mana. He is going to be in trouble. Flash to flash out to safety. Effort might just be sacrificed, but Glit is coming in on the backside. It's not Glit, though. That's a fake Glit. That's oh, a yes. faker waiting. If he lands a Q, he might R in. Can go for it. Clid waiting well, there. Clid was spotted by uh, expiring G2 Ward on his blue buff, so this was a very safe move. Walk in, and that means Tower First Blood will go down in the favor of SKT. Yeah, really interesting interaction there, how SKT actually tried to force a three-man fight on the dive board. on bot side, and they did not think that they could defend it, um, or they saw an opportunity top that just did not pay out. Either way, this is another advantage gained for SKT on the turret plates. So, Maybe G2 is thinking, right, if we take a fight right now, it could be very bad for us. Yes, it's the first Infernal, but we get stronger later on into the game. Two, three items. That's when we'll be in a better position. So let's not overforce anything they for now. They really want to dive. They really want to dive, Khan, who's played this very patiently, but he doesn't know there's four people here looking to kill him. Faker has TP, he can't make his way in. Caps is going to get the point click CC, the instant lock of the follow through. The Dominus is not enough, and G2 will find the pick and set their sights on the tier two. Great play by G2, but where does it go from here? We got Clint trying to finish the Infernal Drake. And SKT isn't in position to make any other play, so as far as conceding Infernal Drakes, that's about as good as you can do. Now, where do they go next? Wonder in the mid lane. Looks like he's caught out for now. The Solar Flare comes in, but he manages to get the dash away. Rise coming into the mid lane. SKT are in position as well. SKT is bullying down. G2 do not feel comfortable to match. Both their solo laners fanned out across the map to pick up CS. Teddy could go in at a moment's notice. Perks is not there. He's pushing bot turret. Need to make their way out, but that ulti over the wall. Effort now coming in with the Zenith Blade. Mickey going to be in trouble, tries to charm up, uses Yankos as an escape path. And Perks Wait. now caught out. Why is he there? Just trying to push, just trying to get priority, maybe hoping to get a solo kill, but Teddy just zooms in and down goes Perks. This Gonna be respawning soon, but as you rightly said, the play will continue. SKT will turn it into a Cloud Dragon. A bit of an engage onto Mickey, but he's just going to dash out of that one. And Watch Khan. Oh, phase rush. Very fast, but not fast enough. Khan will be able to make it out. And Caps is getting scarier and scarier. We talked about the scaling threat on the side of G2. That is two items completed for the Rise. Of course, the Nika will have a lot of utility, a lot of potential AoE, but the Rise just has raw damage. And Caps is looking to put it down as Khan. out so early in fights, making him so much less of a threat. But Wonder and Caps are picking up the slack. They are barreling into the bottom side of the map. They may give up mid prio, but they will get another tier to spot them out. Perks is there. Faker could now be in trouble. Wonder and Caps, though, setting their sights at the bottom He's side. They're try willing for That's to all give they up the Baron. If Yankos steals this, it could actually just end the game. It'll stop the recalls. Yankos, can you do it in the meantime? It's just going to be one. We'll go down to the paper SKT. The empowered recalls come out. It is the bot lane inhibitor traded for the Baron. Oh, we still oh. have yet to see the game oh, define. The threat of the long-range engage coming in from the Kled, of a Realm Warp from Rise, the sheer damage output of those two champions is massive. Right but the... He is halfway down that top lane, and SKT is like, well, we're gonna have to try and siege man. Back up there, Kled now gonna be in trouble. Wonder knocked in the middle of the team, but we'll have the rebound to at least make him a target for a moment. Pocket Pistol takes him out to safety, but still, Effort will find the kill. And they now have a Baron buff with a pick. That's a heal down onto Perks, but what more can they get? Because Caps, he's not gonna stop splitting. You need to send at least two people to stop him, and that's what they've done, which means maybe G2 tries 3v3, this is nuts. Khan's going in, he's proc the Dominus, he's hoping to chase on Caps, but he does not have the Spear of Shoujin. He might not even need it, the Conqueror is there, he's now running for his life. The Seraph's Clint now coming in, Caps going down, he will not get the tower. See, and that means Caps will be able to make it safety safety. Oh, but now collapse. coming. Four members, Caps has to be careful, Banshee's Veil is up, he's gonna flash over the wall. Oh. Right there, beautiful play, he's gonna go over. Tay's gonna fish for the 1v1, but Caps is gonna try to take him down, cut down the guy. 
Cat's health bar, but the CC, the follow up, and SKT will kill Cats. And he's like a raid boss. It took everyone using their cooldowns to go and get him, but what does that open up? Baron's up in five seconds. Multiple ultimates were burned by SKT. G2 has the presence there, but what can they do? Faker are going to be able to spot out Yankos as well. They know that they're not on the Baron. SKT can play this one much slower. Try to leverage their man advantage. Wonder now running for the hills. Only level 15 at this point. TP coming in. Khan on the flank. But meanwhile, they've got the pair. Faker. Faker is gone. And this could be the fight that they're waiting for. Khan going over the wall. Effort is going to flash away to safety. G2 waiting in the darkness. Wonder ready to go in, but the ult has been burned. They have the man advantage where they can get pressure. They can get vision down. They can get ready for the fight. And the question is, do they... That's one TP. Can they get caps as well? They still see him. Here it comes. Caps come. 7k. Hex flash. Hex flash over the wall. Effort going to come in. Faker's going to be on the backside. This pop blossom will be massive if they can find it. That's a CD. That's a follow up. Teddy into the backside. Faker now coming in. He's going to slow a lot of members. But Mickey's still alive. Caps is still alive. Pop blossom will only collect on one. And Wonder is still living. G2 are coming out of the top of the fight for now. But a beautiful body slam will yes. not be enough. They're in the pinch. That is not where you want to be against the Zaya. And SKT have got nothing left in this game one. It took 34 minutes. But there was finally something that forced them to fight and G2 win it. The Titans finally clash and it is G2 that comes out ahead in round one. G2 with the team fight win, G2 with the ace, G2 looking for the Nexus. And it's over. They're killing the inhibitor, they're realm warping these minions close, they're tanking at the Nexus turret to not let this Nexus kill them, and I think they're gonna end the game. And after that, back and forth, blow for blow, but the knockout goes in favor of G2. The minions moving in. The backdoor bonuses are gone, and G2 will push into the base. Neck and neck for the entire game. Effort wants to turn this one back, but it will not be enough. Caps and Perks, eyes on the prize. They'll grab one more kill just for a little bit of extra flavor as they find an advantage in the series. See where everything's gonna go outside of Ezreal uh, as an AD carry, and Jarvan as a jungler. I'm not entirely confident with the rest of the picks, but it will be the little block. Man invade. Potential 3v3, 4v3 as Faker starts to move in. G2 have been caught out. Mickey stepping forward, the body slam over the wall. The taunt is going to come in though. Effort will be pulled back. Effort, I think it's gonna go down for first blood. That's not what they wanted. First blood will drop. Yanko smiting just to live. Trying to make his way out. Conqueror now, Proc is gonna blast on out the flash away. But Faker is there, wants to get the damage down. And that's gonna be it, the kick. Faker will secure a kill in return. So because of the taunt that he does bring. Now we see Jungler hanging spotted. around bots. They're now stepping in. Yankos is on the way. The taunt is going to connect on both. The flag and drag comes through. And Teddy now has to run for the hills to dash through. The tornado can buy him a bit of time as he reaches. Khan can come over the wall. Open caps checks. Faker can set it up. Chains come out. Khan is he willing to flash under tower to try to secure this one? Caps trying to make his way out to safety, but it will not happen. That's going to be the kill. But the dragon has been stolen away. Clean that play. gold around the map. Right now he's looking to do it as he has his eyes set on Yankos. Chains will connect on Yankos. Yankos locked up. The follow up is there. Clid looking to finish this one off. The ulti has come out. You can use the unstoppable flash away to safety. Faker goes in. He gets the auto, but Clid will burn him down with the red buff. SKT did expend a lot for that though, as G2's looking for more. Caps now coming in, the taunt will be able to connect, but the knockback is there, Clid getting by the double. Caps trying to delete Faker, but Faker goes invisible. Realm Warp now coming out, Caps looking for the fancy footwork, will take him out to safety, but Mickey has to run a great Clint. job of avoiding these fights, but this time round with Faker on the oh, block. kick over the wall, Clid! Wow! Putting on a lease! Disappeared into the jungle, let's see if he can make a play. Going he catches Clid. Clid will be locked up. Galio on the way in too. They're gonna lock Clid and everything. That's a little bit of revenge for Perks in the jungle. He tosses it. Yasuo is getting so much on the bottom side, but if Perks and Mickey do not go down here, it is just gonna be the Herald in favor. Taunt goes in. That's big damage going on in the effort. Luckily, the aftershock has been proxy. He has to run for his life, but Mickey caught under tower and taken down. Perks with plenty of mana though. Where's the ulti? The cooldown still very far away. Won't be able to grab anything else. The Herald will go down uncontested in favor of G2 Esports. And the skirmishing is that much more intense this time around. But the things that we wanted to track in the US Tower in the bot lane. Faker is 3-0 and 2 on this LeBlanc. So everything that SKT wanted to happen in the early game has now happened. And now with a Mountain Drake backing them up G2 as well. is the end of the mid game. And again, we're seeing a move down bottom lane. They want to get Khan. Ulti coming out, but it will not connect. He's under the tower. Wonder needs to make it out to safety. He's going to dash away, but Khan will not be taken down. In the meantime, Yasuo has already dropped a tower. Start. It has been capped. So the question is, can they take this fight? Mountain has they been started. In for it. Faker? All right, I'm going to walk in. Mountain Drake goes down. G2 have priority over the mid lane. Perks has to be very careful as Faker fears. He's going to realm warp the minions in so they can siege just as a reset is coming through from Khan. He's going to TP back in. B, Teddy finds the knockup. Khan is there. <laughs> huh. A little too, a little yeah, too late. Him is that Wonder will be able to get some of these items down. Has yep. upgraded already the Trinity Force on the side of Perks. He's at that two item point we always like to talk about. Caps a clean flash out to safety. 
Would have surely been death, but now they're still trying to follow up. The taunt is there to stop Faker from going any further. Caps now on the retreat. Phase Rush has come out. Perks going into the midst of everything, but the knockup is there. The last breath, and it will be Caps' as the shutdown comes through, but Perks is not done yet. He wants to make the difference. Yanko sleeping in. Will they re-engage? He gets the shutdown, and now they're in the Cataclysm. Pecan is into the backside, and Perks gets cut down. The sweeping blade from Teddy. Yet another knockup. Wonder wants to turn this one. Wants to find the knockups back onto Khan, but it is not enough. And this is a monstrous performance from Teddy. This is the Yasuo dream. No one can lock him down as Khan, Teddy, and Clid tear through G2 Esports. Goodbye to Mickey. Goodbye to Wonder. That will be the ace for SKT. Okay, Teddy's Yasuo. Oh, he's even still They're desperate to let him know, but he can't hear you, Madrid. He can't hear you from the grave as he gets cut down. He's running for the hills, but it simply will not be enough. Caps gets taken out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He's buying time, but that's going to be it. Faker grabbing the kill. He does just feels like it takes so much time yeah. against G2. That is actually a death for an inner mid lane. We get out of the damage graph here. It's going to show you a very different story. It was Spirit Visage. It was Titanic. Doing Baron on a control ward. So either they do a 50-50 or they fight right now. Alti's coming out. Wonder wants to knock it over the wall. Hoping to stop the windmill from responding. Can they get anything done? But no. The Baron has gone over the galley wall. Burned a little bit earlier. SKT are just going to third item alongside the QSS. SKT will be uncontested for now on this tier one tower. Yeah. <laughs> he distorted in just for a few autos. Wait a minute. And now gets his passive burn by perks. Faker a little bit lower, but that's the top lane tier two down. And this oh, is Faker. the largest lead that either of these teams have had so far in the series. Faker might die if Perks lands. Alti, Faker, dash away. Doesn't fall we for it. You also have to make something happen with this Baron buff. It's definitely true. Teddy now stepping forward. The knockback is there right onto Perks. Perks now going to leap out to safety, but it's not going to be enough. Teddy trying to cut him down, and he will find the kill. Teddy getting everything kicked off the last breath. Coming in, the combo of the Gragas and the Oswo is so clean, but now Faker's been locked up over the wall. Maybe they can find the kill, but no, the distortion will take him back to safety. G2 just doing what they can to hold on after Perks drops. That's a huge play for them to try and actually get some turrets because SKT also got a Baron in game one. They were unable to get a meaningful enough advantage for them to be able to win that game. This time, though, they get the pick on to Perks, and they have 27 seconds left on this Baron to try and break in hips. You need to pick their fight, they need to pick their moment. But they're running out of time. Mid lane will break. The inhibitor now next on the list. Four members moving up from G2, but it might mean giving up bot lane if they go to contest. The wave now crashing in on the bottom side. Khan and Clid ready to threaten. SKT will retreat, though. Happy with just... And I think additionally, instead of a 0-2 Renekton, it's a 5-0 Renekton. That so. also helps. And SKT just exerting their dominance, setting up around this Baron. 23 seconds until it respawns. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised Faker's sitting around with such Lamana. His, oh, blue, buff, his blue buff is up, so he's actually not going to recall. But yeah, they're fighting bot lane. Caps now trying to use the realm orb, but baiting. Now gonna try to step away. Khan will find the knockup. Wonder now coming in, wants to get something done. Caps is gonna be in trouble. Khan gets in and gets out, takes down Caps. Wonder just has to be next on the list. Teddy and Khan should be able to walk this one down. The orange just does not have enough damage to kill both of these champions. Knockup's gonna be there in just a moment. Wonder taken away, knocks down both solo laners, dropping. G2, it's very difficult for them to come back with the draft that they have available to themselves. To through. Great execution there from Khan. Very Playing little Teddy though. Galli Alti is going to come out. They're trying to disengage and knock him through the ultimate, but Teddy just goes golden, buys a bit more time. The TP now coming in. Yankos will get deleted before the fight even kicks off. Perks still dealing so much damage. That's the Orn ult, and maybe it will be enough. Khan steps forward. Faker trying to get something done, but he's focusing on Wonder. Is he's not going to be able to damage, but Clint wants to end the game, but Caps is going to run more around safety. Caps is trying to win two fights at the same time. Windwall will not be enough. Unstoppable. They will defend the base. They will win the fight, and G2 hold on. What just happened? <laughs> Why did Clint fight? Clint pushed. That recall is going to buy enough time for G2 to get the they're inside going. track onto the well, Elder. Rush it. They, they have to rush it. They, they should have absolutely to be very rush careful. This. No, they're just going to rush it. Maybe going to try to body block. Just wants to make sure that Clint can't get into the pit. They need to shred through this one. They can get something done. There's no Yasuo there to body block. The cast comes oh, down. Oh, he stole it. I can't believe it in the moment where it matters most. And Teddy now instantly has backline access. Disaster strikes for G2, but the Galio is now coming in. He wants to turn it, but everyone is dead as Mickey hits the ground. Everyone on his team drops. It is a clean fight for SKT, and Clint is the hero they were waiting for. The jungle level. The level difference was huge. It was a level 16 Clid to a level 13 Yankos. G2 had to keep him out of the pit to secure that Elder. They could not do it. Clid found the way in, and with a team fight win, SKT are going to equalize the series. And this series is defying my expectations. If you would have told me Faker takes a bad recall and then his jungler bails him out with the beautiful. Oh, <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> I'm not going to say it's the coward's way out, but uh, the Vygar would have been a little bit more. So Oriana is, of course, still a very good He's going to pull back, though. They should be fine as Yankos wants to He's move diving. in. Dive comes in from Khan, though. This is going to be big. Wonder still alive. The flash out. That's going to be first blood. Khan oh. lives! Outplayed on the top side, but now the engage on the bottom. Were they going to be able to get the CC down? They are. That's the kill response back from G2. That could be a item than, say, an early longsword, but it does mean that he'll be even more threatening in the mid game. Now Perks has been locked up. It's going to be big damage. Cleanse and Flash coming out. Teddy definitely outplaying that one. And Wonder's been caught out again. That's going to be one more kill. Khan gets yet another top side. He won't. He won't hit six in time. They can turn it. Watch out, wall dive. Yes, Zap's no defenses have come out. Khan slowed down. They're trying to run this one slow. He will manage it to Cocoon, even as the dash away comes out. But Khan with so much healing coming in from the Conqueror. Is he going to be able to escape from this one? Wonder wants to finish off the kill desperately. He will get the shutdown. And Hope he comes to the game through topside, instead trying to help out Bard a little bit. Yes, they get the Mountain Draken, but that play was a must for G2. The response from SKT, very good. Tremor Sense will spot them out. He can throw a Pricey Girl over the wall if he wants. It pulls him back. They immediately go all in on Baker. And Clint is left sitting underground as his mid laner. Wonder to win. Now the flash in, he's gonna hit Faker. Yanko's coming in, that's a lot of CC, it's a lot of damage, but they're now gonna need to pull back. They know Faker doesn't have a flash, it's gonna cost a TP though. Flash in, they're gonna kill Yanko's. Goes up, there's no camp there. He can't come down, Yanko's gets locked up. Faker's gonna grab the kill. So that four-man roam worked <laughs> for the rest of the event. Okay, but it looks like it's gonna be a trade of an objective, of course, Khan with pressure. Yeah, they're giving him total solo gold on this first turret, but the big question to me will be how does SKT match the rest of the map? Because they should know that G2 is setting up. He actually ruins the blast cone himself and then flashes over. So uh, G2, I think, should should look to attack this. And it's strange to watch this game, actually, because decision in jitters. It's Khan pushing on the top side against the four members of G2 pushing on the bottom side. They will break this tower. Khan might get a bit of damage down top side. The Herald has done a lot of work there, but wonders through. The Yanko's burning his flash for that, trading with Clid, and now Wonder's in trouble. Khan knows that he's isolated. Hookshot, wall dive out to safety. Stun still connects. Wait That's a minute. That's a forgiving stun. <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't that interaction He might, he just might want coded. to go flash for flash. He has ultimate as well if he wants to reset. Yeah. Fine. That's a stun. Big ulti now going to come out trying to cancel a few animations. Hextech ultimatum. Tax sweep to take him away. Khan will get nothing. But keeps his flash, trading it for Wonder. Well, here. Oh, TP, hook. Shockwave, blind shockwave. Yo, they're going to get him. Khan locked up. He's trying to get something back. A beautiful pick from G2. And ultimate. Then they, or Khan knew rather that he could go for that all in 1v1. What he didn't realize was the positioning of G2. What's happening though, as G2 collapses, not only do they kill effort, they get the mid priority because the turn. The turn and fight, they wanted to use it, but they did not get baited in. Now, one that he could be in trouble. Look shot, wall dive. Realm Warp now coming out, but they're going to respond with the TP. They say, You want to make this our arena? We're going to match you. But he will be stunned immediately as he comes out, and that's disastrous for the side of G2. Wonder gets deleted. That's two kills for SKT. They can run straight for the Baron, but Khan. Wonder is hunting. Yankos doesn't even know from the darkness. The flash out, the cocoon will not connect. Spider form of the Krug's up. He's got to be asking himself, should be able to go up into the air. Oh, oh, the fog, he lost to. vision. But if now, Yanko somehow steals this, that flash would be huge. Best KT has all the cards right now. His smite is down. I don't think there's anything that he can do. They're going to go straight towards the Drake and trade. And Disaster for G2 as SKT find a great collapse on the side lane. They did this in game one, but couldn't convert it into anything. This time, though, they convert it into Baron. SKT with the punish playstyle coming up. He ends up getting blown up by Faker, who's now level 15. We've been talking a lot about this experience difference in this series. And let's see what they do with this Baron, because the previous two Barons, they've actually gotten forced to fight onto no and not been able to take advantage of it. Trying to find the pick on Effort. That's a huge shockwave. They get the fight kicked off. Effort now has to run for his life, but they've locked in the middle of everything. Faker Again. walking around the wall. Teddy now trying to get something done. G2 trying to fire back. Khan is still alive, but Council find the kill. But now Clint into the midst of the fight. Teddy is going massive. Teddy yeah. is not enough because Perks is there to find the shutdown. It happens. See in this What's Your Move replay, they're setting up for a dive onto mid. They use a lot of ultimates, but then yeah. the two man shockwave hits. For and caps to land, as G2 actually have some pressure bottom lane with Faker pushing mid, and they might go. Protocol. Doing a ton of damage to the tower. Caught now 50%. They're just going to break this one down. They're just barreling into the base. Faker wow. just now getting back. How did they just get an uncontested mountain drink? And now SKT is using this time. So actually, the reason SKT go. wasn't this willing to 50 50. If they fight the full 5v5, the combat sums of G2 will be in their favor. Big shockwave set up. They put themselves Here's in the pit. That could be everything. Faker, it will be the guaranteed knockup. Caps moving in, looking for the perfect shockwave. The Baron will go down, but can G2 find the fight? Caps instantly taken out. The cleanse will not be enough. No, Caps alive on the backside, doing what he can. A sliver of life left, yet still keeping his team alive. And Faker and Khan are on the retreat as G2 push in. The hook shot, the wall dive. They will manage to make it out. Khan trying to delete Wonder. 
They're gonna get one back. It's such a close fight. Faker is fearless. He will make the this game can still end. <laughs> the death timers were low enough there. So, holy crap, With Baron. Can SKT make this one count? One that actually failed his flash in that final So eight. much more well-coordinated than SKT. SKT need to pull it together because the next fight can be the game. Hex flash coming in. They're just looking to break the base. They managed to land the Whoa. stun on the Everty. Instantly gets half health. The Camille now goes in. The support is gone. Khan is under the backside. Eyes on Caps. Eyes on Perks. The damage sources, but they're threatening. And Teddy is left in, and Caps just gets deleted, but Perks is untouched. It's a trade of carries. Perks, he gets it! He's still alive. Khan wants it, but Teddy, it's not going to be enough. Perks continues to step forward. He has the E up and available. Teddy has to run for the hills, but G2 do not need to commit for the fight. Teddy can make the play, but it's not worth the risk. If Teddy dies, this is the game over for SKT. He is the last Whoa. bastion for SKT to hold the line against G2, and he will survive. There's still minions coming in mid. How much does G2 want to go for this? It's hard for Teddy to clear the minions. Thunder steps ah. forward. Big oh. damage! One more feather. Teddy running for his life. No flash, no heal, no ult. But once it has to back, back off, off. cooldown, if he they lands Drake, the Void Seeker try and into the ult, they can turn this around. Teddy can turn this. Teddy can turn this. No! He gets taken out! And just like that, in an instant, the series is defined as G2 move to match point. Without a single Baron buff, G2 is with the forest. Like, you have the early game transition with the Elise as well. The only other thing they could do is flex the Vladimir into mid lane, but I'm back there. Look at the state of the wave right now. With the health difference. Oh, they're actually going in. going in. Teddy has to flash out to safety instantly. Halo Blade's doing so much work. Mickey now stepping forward. The Ignite goes down. Perks, the heal, is it enough? Yanko's coming over the wall. The Axe first blood for G. Two waves up on a Yasuo Gragas lane against an enemy AD carry. The TP is going to come through from oh. Syndra. They want Run. a match. That's going to be oh. big. Gengus is just going to get one oh. shot. Perfect punish for Cliff. Caps now moving in on the Faker. Moving in on the Caps, rather. Con TP's down. This is a big turn for SKT. They will not just be run over. They will match G2 for the Drake, and they will take the ocean for themselves. Excellent punish coming out from Clid. He knows what Yankos is up and to. And look at the roam from Faker. He has his eyes set on oh. top. Why not going for the all-in? He thinks he has the all-in. He needs to go in on Con. If he's going to kill him, he needs to kill him now. Con flashes back to safety. Faker not going to connect on the ultimate. That's massive. Still, though, the Ignite's ticking down. Wonder will drop, but that could have been everything. So. Really good timing on G2's roam here. We don't have vision, is at least still in the brush. Is. That's going to be the ulti now coming out. The wind wall can't immediately follow. The perks might just get body down. The ultimate coming up the bars is huge. Teddy is not going down quite yet, but they're going to be able to grab the kill on the back of the Olaf. Khan in the midst of the entire team will just be forced to retreat. Faker now coming down. The Kiana's now coming in. Oh, G2 are now locked down under the tower. Where's the Kiana going to go? Dashing in. That's going to be one. Invisible with the grass play. Can pick up another one to go through. Faker cleaning up this fight. Is caught still deathless despite the relentless assault of G2 on this bottom lane. While SK T wasn't Khan. there. A player that we've talked about a lot this series will be very important if SKT want to win. Caps are trying to pull back with the lock. is guaranteed. That means the follow-up is there, and down goes. Official for G2 one way or the other. It's it's really about how they've stayed in most of these games is through just good CS Perks. in the side. There's Faker. Locked up, okay. stunned down. That's a Kiana. That's what she does. Ignite is forced out. Those early items, you can be very potent. And uh, oh, 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 up. that's going to be big damage. They don't have a wind wall to stop it. Easy pickoff for the side of it. The flash up almost connects so incredibly close. And to further quote Jack from earlier, as long as we're taking turns doing Jack quotes, right. Kiana's OP when she's played well. Hey. And Kiana is being played damn well. Yes. Single-handedly redefine the vision game. Now might single-handedly redefine SKT's chances in this series. As G2 now move in. Mickey off to the side, trying to find the barrel. Forcing out the repel from Clay, but Perks is there as well. Now Wonders in the pinch. Caps is just getting cut down. The wind wall is not going to mean a thing. Tries to buy a bit more time. Here comes oh, Faker on the back side. But he's caught up by the Olaf. Mickey now coming in. Faker trying to go in and finish it off, but the stopwatches are there. But no, SKT still able to find this fight. The knockup coming through. Yankos runs for the hills, but it is not enough. Still, it's a back and forth fight. It's such a close fight. Cap manages to sidestep. Click goes in, but the body step comes out. <laughs> Another stopwatch. Are you kidding me? The knockup is there. The shutdown is there. Yeah, it's a. That's a <laughs> yeah, I was. At, oh! Okay. And Mata died. Yeah, you cursed him. <laughs> Yeah, Gragas ultimate into death. Wait, could this be Baron now? They're they very think strong. About it. You talked about this earlier, Thaddeus, but the wind wall from Yasuo is massive at taking the Baron. Mitigates so much of the threat, so much of the damage. Might still want that cooldown in the fights to come. But oh, here comes the Orn Horn. They're caught in the pinch. Mickey X can go forward. Faker invisible. Wants to pull another grass play, but this is massive. The Vladimir trying to strike back. But Faker's ult is not going to be effective. Khan now has to run for his life. Perks and Caps are still alive. G2. So it's going to be really difficult for them to face check their way into this. 
But this is where Keon and Vladimir are at their most powerful. If they yeah. sniff out the G2 Baron and go in that wall, he oh, might sniff out this go. juicy Keon ultimate. Eyes on Faker in the backside. Faker being zoned away once again by Yanko. So the rest of the fight is breaking out. Faker is doing nothing. Porks is getting another kill. They're dashing through the shutdown. He's trying to find the kill, but he can't get it back. And this is disastrous. Yanko's took Faker out of the fight, but still, SKT win the 4v4. Wonder has to now run for his life. The grass blade zoning Mickey X away. Wonder will get taken down. This should be the Baron for the side of SKT. Wonder trying to buy as much time as he can, but it is not enough. That is the shutdown SKT Baron in their sights. And SKT Sickos, if we wanted to try. G2 have yet to get a Baron this entire series. Is this the one that will turn it? Is this their Baron to get? Yanko's with ultimate available. Won't get a chance. Deleted. Yanko's next on the list. Caps TPing into his own death. SKT, though, know, pulling back, giving him that respect. Clint now stepping oh, forward. Wow. Caps manages to find the knockback. Wants to finish off at least one kill. We'll get the ultimate down to do so. The heal is not enough. But here comes Baker. Goes golden, but just gets to watch his own death in slow motion. Khan on a rampage. And just, if we look at the game state moments ago, it was this is even, this is dead even, but now it's a 4K advantage to the side of SKT. They've got the Baron to back them up as well. Perks though, moving in on the top side, another TP coming in. They're looking for a pick. Yankos is here too. Faker now retreating. Wonder stepping forward. This is a very fast Kiana. Caps on the way in. Faker should certainly go down here, but he's incredibly fast. The flash out, not enough. Caps sees it coming, uses the alt, and takes him out. Again, Faker not in sync with the rest of SKT. This is the full on his bottom. Yeah. Perks is split pushing. This is the type of thing that G2 has been perplexing SKT with. They're pressuring lanes that SKT doesn't expect them to pressure. So the brace is slowly being broken. How about a third? Yankos. Yeah, that was a pretty quick chunk. Constant with the Crimson Rush up. They're going to force out the pool. Oh, Ooh. the timing off. That's going to be a disaster. That's going to be another inhibitor tower going down. Both lands on a wonder. Alti's now going to come out. Khan still on the side. Khan still with ultimate up and available. Can't make his way into the back of this fight. Still, Mata goes forward. G2 is going to find one kill for now. The knockup not quite there. Perks going in the midst of the team. Wants to desperately wants to kill Teddy, but it's not going to be enough. He's trying to dash through, but they're still there burning him down. In the meantime, the fight is going back and forth. Teddy, he's trying. This is his moment. He wants to get the kill. Can he get it done? Teddy! He buys more time, but he cannot secure the win. Axe goes in. Yanko's on the chase. For G2, but then the re-engage comes through. Exactly. A very odd start with Mata Day. T. The Baron will be spawning in 30 seconds. This could be the fight, the objective, the place that determines the outcome of this series. The upgraded Zonia is now coming in for caps. One more level for Wonder, and he will be able to upgrade perks as well. Given oh, the Mata's on edge. his own. Mata isolated. Mata caught out. Windwall comes in to stop any fallout. Mata knocked back into the wall, but here comes a massive Orn follow-up. The support is dead, but now they can turn the fight. It's Khan on the flank. G2 need to get out of the pinch immediately, or they will go down. Mata's still alive. Mata is living through everything G2 have. But just by Orn being level 16. Because Perks. When Wall comes out, but it's not going to stop the ultimate from going in. Perks has to flash out to safety. Mata hits the wall, not quite what he wants, but Khan steps forward. That's, That's the, the ulti down. Oh. That's the ulti down. Now G2 can look to turn the fight. Khan, oh. huge healing coming back. On the back end of that ultimate. Faker now steps forward. Faker now gets taken out. Faker, is no! Faker, is that? What was that? Now the rest of the team stepping forward. G2 will get to close this fight out. Perks throwing the win wall over. Tornado comes in, win wall the block. Clint now taken down. This should be G2's first Baron of the series if they can find it. Clint deleted. Caps on G2 Esports come back once again. They will secure their first Baron of the series. And SK convert their own. They have the Orn. They have the Gragas. They have so many initiation tools. And SKT have just been. One of them will go home today. Perks pushes in. He breaks the tier two. This could be the final Bear in mind, they have two exposed inhibitors themselves. If SKT find a big fight, they're looking for Perks. Baker fishing for the flank. Windwall comes through. Perks still alive right in the midst of the Windwall. Just needs to back up a little bit, trying to dash through. That's the knockup. He could get the reset, but no. Mistiming, mis-execution from G2 causes him his life. That's the shutdown. Now they have to retreat. Now condition. We've seen G2 win every single one of these fights, which means that if they can force a fight around this Elder, this time they should be able to win. You can now step forward, but it's Faker once again waiting in the darkness. Grass Blade, not the Water Blade, but out comes the Ornhorn. Caps fishing for one or two picks. They might not want to take the fight, but they do. They're still going to go in 4v5, trying to peel away. Faker waiting, trying to find an opportunity to go over the wall. The Var Assault is not going to connect. It hits, but it will not secure any follow-up Keep an eye on the Caps, caps. done. Ooh, he messes up the execution. Baits it out, though. Clint had to go up into the air, and it doesn't matter if he messed it up, because Clint is still going to go down. But Khan, right to the backside. Caps goes golden. There's no one else to follow up. Khan's damage doesn't matter. 
But the ulti comes out in such a close exchange for now. They're winning, but Perks is coming in. This is his hero moment. If he wants to turn this fight in favor of Team, this could be the game. He gets the fight moment. Faker is gone. Teddy's next on the list. There's no way he can duel Yasuo. Amada's coming in, but he's just walking into the meat grinder of Perks. Khan, can he do it? It's not enough. They've done it. They're going to win. G2. Khan, can he get it done? He can't. The Vladimir, they can't do it. This is it. The greatest team in the history of League of Legends taken down by the greatest team Europe has ever produced. FPX, get ready. G2 is heading to Paris. See now the interview getting ready on stage. The police of Vista Alegre alive with the sounds of G2 esports. And, and let's just Muchas hear about gracias. it. Thank you very much. I'm here with Caps. <laughs> Caps. Tell me what was going through your mind when you killed that final Nexus and what it means to go to your second straight world final after beating SKT. So today was just crazy, honestly. Uh, I think, going, especially this last game, we were so far behind and we were really like, really like draw, taking one kill at a time, trying to get our way back. And we managed to get it in the end when we got the, the quadra kill on Yasu and the TV into the base. Uh, yeah, I'm just happy. <laughs> I hope you can hear me, um, but I'm glad you brought it up because those games were so incredibly close and it seemed many times you guys had to fight your way back. Tell us about the pressure in these games. Thank you guys. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what you said, but... <laughs> Tell me about the pressure about playing these games because they looked so incredibly back and forth and it could be anyone's game at any moment. I think SKC looked really strong going into this uh, game, so we were really nervous. Uh, obviously, we played against them before, and obviously, playing against Faker was always a bit nervous for me. Uh, so, we just wanted to try our best, and <laughs> we managed to win it in the end. So. <laughs> now, Caps, last year, you were in a similar position. You also fought your way all the way to the finals. And unfortunately for you and for Fnatic back then, it was a disappointing fight versus IG. How different are you coming into these world finals? And how, how poised are you to take home the Summoner's Cup on home soil? <laughs> so we have one week of left of Worlds and <clears throat> we're just gonna try our best. Uh, I was like a bit sick this week, so I promised my team that if they carry this today, then uh, I'll take care of next week. So I'm just gonna show up, and then I'm gonna send Fun Plus Remix back home. <laughs> Caps, final words. Words, I'm gonna give you the uh, opportunity to talk to the crowd who were very loud once again. Perk said last week, when you're so loud, it's hard to concentrate. But what can you tell them, and how can you thank him for their support? Honestly, I've played Madrid three times now, and the crowd is always crazy. Like, Paris has like a big, big step to go if they want to compete against you guys. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Caps, and congratulations. And now please put your hands together for your 2019